when you use fruit, what are you using? So if you watch some of the the videos we've done uh, over on YouTube, some of the brew day videos, different things like that. When we use, uh, when we make escape our pina colada beer, um, that's getting three boxes of essentially coconut puree, organic coconut puree. Um, and so we're using all pasteurized, uh, all pasteurized, flash pasteurized fruit um, smoothie, basically puree. I like it because it's, it's a relatively clean um, it, it's a relatively clean, uh, way of handling fruit. Um, it still is fruit, but I will say on top of that though, every single time I do a, a beer with fruit in it, you're going to have natural extract on top of it. I think extract gets a bad name. I think you got to pair them up. I think you need to use the real thing and then enhance it a little bit with, with the extract. If you are fully fermenting out your fruit like I do, I think you're going to lose some nose. If you don't make a really sweet fruit beer, I think you're going to lose some intensity of flavor. Um, so get yourself a nice uh, TTB approved uh, natural extract. Feather that in real gently. Dude, when, when, when I use that stuff, oftentimes I use 10 ounces and 15 barrels. So do the math, 31 gallons per barrel. It's a lot of gallons in there. It's a very, very small amount. It's a nuanced thing and it lifts to the nose and, 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 and makes it brighter without potentially having to have the beer be too sweet, potentially cloying. But I do think you have to use them both together. That's just, that's just me. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.